Hey, Wade. What are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm doing the hula hoop. <laughs> Invented in Hawaii, the hula hoop. That's why they called it the hula, because you have those dancing hips, just like they did in Hawaii. Guess what else was invented there? What? Surfing. How can you say that? Surfing. Without them, you see the Beach Boys with the big bomb gym and the, There would be no Beach Boys if it wasn't for surfing. Now, I have never been to Hawaii. I'm the legendary win. I'm here in my storage space. I'm looking at all my uh, paraphernalia that I've collected over the years and I'm going through right now. And for some reason, I have things to do with Hawaii. And uh, aloha. Now, aloha means hello and it means goodbye. So the Beatles could have just said, you say aloha, and they wouldn't have to go on, but uh, they sang goodbye, hello. But that's how they are over in Hawaii. Hawaii uh, used to be a kingdom until America uh, took it over, and uh, from then on, it was a very strategic place. It's the most isolated group of, uh, there's, there's 150 or 160 different islands that make up the Sandwich Islands that uh, they used to be called, but uh, no more. Hey, here's a legendary wig showing you what a typical Hawaiian lady would wear right over there. You got a, uh, she's got the grass skirt on right there. Okay. I like to see a little mower. You keep that up, John. I'm gonna give you a Hawaiian punch. All right. But in this blue bag, I uh, I have found like. Many different, uh, look, I put that right in there. I found many different uh, Hawaiian uh, things. Now, we all remember Hawaii the way that I remember it, and one of the greatest was from here to eternity. All right? Here to eternity, of course, the comeback movie for Mr. Frank Sinatra and uh, Montgomery Cliff. But here they are, uh, the most famous beach scene of them all. All beaches are free in Hawaii. There's not like, you know, you can't come on this a private beach. No, not in Hawaii. Uh, but th there they are at the uh, at the American Club or something like that. And of course, Ernest Bergnine was playing the piano and gets in a fight with uh, uh, with Frank Sinatra's character by calling each other ethnic slurs and uh, it. it results in the vibe. But a great movie if you've never seen it. Uh, and here's your, Montgomery Cliff, okay, and playing against type Donna Reed. I couldn't accept Donna Reed as a uh, uh, as a taxi dancer. I mean, you know, she was she was Jimmy Stewart's wife in uh, A Wonderful Life and uh, had the very uh, a very American sort of sitcom with the Donna Reed show. Now, some of the things that I have here, all right? Torah, Torah, Torah. That took place right there, okay? Torah, Torah, Torah was uh, tiger, 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 that means. That was the code word for when the Japanese forces, the Imperial Japanese forces of Japan, attacked our fleet at Pearl Harbor, and the rest is history. But that took place during the year to eternity. Now, somehow I've gotten these newspapers, okay, that are not these. Oh, all right, here they are. Look. So the person who had these must have been there during the, uh, this is fighting Hawaii, okay? Why would they fight Hawaii? It's our, the number 50th state, last state that we had. And Look how beautiful the dogs are there. It looks just like the beach that uh, uh, things, but it, but it shows you uh, American fighting forces covering the world. But uh, this is just at the time when, uh, when Frank Sinatra and Ernest Borgnine was there.